Hey everyone, I'm Colin from fruitsofspirit.com and we've got a story for you guys today called The Parable of the Sower. So today's story begins with a farmer and this farmer had a big, huge bag of seeds. He decided one day that he was going to go into his field and he was going to start sowing seeds. Now wait a second here. I've heard of sowing machines and sowing clothes, but I've never heard of sowing seeds. What does that mean? Well, sowing seeds actually just means to scatter or to throw seeds. So the farmer went to his field, he started to scatter seeds around and throw seeds around into the field. Some of the seeds fell onto a path, while other seeds fell onto rocky soil. Still others fell into soil with thorn bushes, and finally some seeds fell into good soil. Now after some time, the seeds that fell onto the path were snatched up and eaten by birds. The seeds that fell into the rocky soil grew up quickly, but then withered away. And the seeds that were thrown into the soil with thorn bushes grew up, but were choked out by the thorns. But the seeds that fell into the good soil grew up into large trees with lots and lots of fruit. Now this is a story that was told 2,000 years ago by Jesus. But what does it mean? Well, luckily Jesus tells us what it means. He says that this story was never about seeds or soil or fruit or trees, but this story was actually about people and how they hear the word of God. Now the word of God is the Bible or the things that God wants to tell us. So Jesus said that there are some people that will hear the word of God and they'll be like the seed that fell onto the path and they'll forget it immediately. There are other people that will be like the seeds that fell into the rocky soil and they'll get excited and they'll grow very fast but after time they'll walk away and that excitement will go away. There's another group of people that are like the seeds that fell into the soil with thorn bushes. And they'll grow up, but then over time, the worries that they have and the distractions in their life will make them walk away from God. And the final group of people is the ones that land in the good soil. They'll grow up and become large trees with lots and lots of fruit. But what does it mean to be a large tree with lots of fruit? Well, the Bible tells us that God wants us to grow fruits in our lives, but it's not talking about the kinds of fruits we eat. It's talking about fruits that we read about in Galatians. The fruits of the Spirit. And the fruits of the Spirit, it tells us, are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These are the fruits that God wants to grow in our lives. But in order to have those fruits grow, we have to be like the good soil. So what soil do you want to be today? Please like and subscribe for more content like this. Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope that you really enjoyed the Parable of the Sower. We've got something special for you, a free coloring page of the illustration that you've seen in this video. You can find that at our website, fruitsofspirit.com. So again, that's www.fruitsofspirit.com. We'd love to see you there.